Hi, and welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey. And today we're going to be talking about business rules and how to create them inside of a table inside of Power Apps. So let's take a look at make.powerapps.com and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com and I've created a bid table. And my primary column name inside of my table is just client name and it's a text field. And then I created three other column types. So my bid amount is a currency. My bid probability, the probability that I win is going to be a whole number and all these are optional fields. They're not required. Notice I can see this right here on the right hand side. They say optional. Bid type is a choice and that bid type choice is one that I created. It says high bid and low bid. And notice that there is no default value set for this. So we're going to hit cancel. And then I'm going to click save table. So I'm going to save these column types. So there's three different column types in addition to the client name, which is the primary name in the column. So we're going to click save table. So essentially what I'm going to do with this business with these two business rules is when someone enters a contract or a bid amount, I want to make the bid probability field required. The other thing that I want to do is if the bid amount is greater than 10,000 or equal to $10,000, I want to set the bid type to a high bid price. So at the ribbon at the top, we're going to click business rules. And we're going to create a new business rule by adding business rule at the very top. This will bring us into our business rule designer. So there's a couple different things that we can look at. The first thing is at the top, you'll see this option for snapshot. Snapshot will take a picture of your entire business rule. So that way you can send it out to people to make recommendations. At the bottom left hand corner, we have what's known as the mini map. So if your business rule is extra large, you can use the mini map to navigate to the particular portion that you want. On the right hand side, we have the components of our business rules. So we have our conditional statement. A business rule will always start off with a conditional statement. And then we have the actions associated with that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click into our condition and change the name. So we're going to say this if contract amount exists. This is going to be our first rule. So what we're going to say is currently that all of our columns inside of our table is set to optional. But we want to say that if someone enters a bid amount, we want to make sure that the probability column is a required column at that point. So down here we have our rules. Remember that an entity is a table, so we're in our current table, and a field is a column. So the correct column we want is bid amount, that's correct. And we're gonna say if it just contains data. This is our operator. So if the bid amount contains data, meaning it has contract amount in it. So we're gonna click apply. Notice that at the bottom of the screen, we have our text view. So if the bid amount contains data, so we know we did it correctly. Then we're going to go to our components tab and we're going to set business required. So we're going to make this a required field now. So we're going to drag it. The check mark is the true side of the condition. The X mark is the false side. So we're going to change the name to this to set probability required. And we're going to set the field, the column, bid probability to business required at that point and click apply. So now so we can check the text view to make sure we did this correctly. If the bid amount contains data, then set probability is required. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and change the name at the top as well by clicking the down arrow. And we're going to say this is the set probability rule. So we'll click save. Now before rule can actually work, we have to activate it. So up in the right hand corner, 
We're going to click activate. And confirm activation. And now our rule is set. So we can go ahead and close that. Click done. And let's create a new rule. So at the top, we're going to add a new business rule. And this one is going to set our field value. So once again, we're going to click in the condition. Let's change this name to set bid type. So if the bid amount, and this is where we're going to use our greater than or equal to operator, is greater than or equal to $10,000. That's going to be our threshold. And click apply. So if the bid amount is greater than or equal to 10,000, follow the check mark, true path, else follow the X. So let's go ahead and click our components. And so we can set the field value. We're gonna grab the component, we're gonna drag it to the plus to add it. And for this new action, we're gonna call this high bid. And so we're going to set our column, our bid type column, to a value of, notice we have the option between high and low, high bid. Click apply. We're going to do the same thing on the false side, but we're going to set the field value to a low bid. So here's our field value. We're going to call this low bid. And we're going to set our field, our column, the bid type to a low bid and click apply. So notice in our text view, we now have uh, the, if the bid amount is greater than or equal to 10,000, set the bid type to high bid, else, meaning do this after, if that's not true, set the bid type to low bid. So that looks good. Let's click save. Oh, we should probably change the name of this as well to set bid type and rule why not save and then once again before the rule can actually work we're going to have to activate it it's going to act ask us to confirm activation and now we can get out of here and click done Now this is all done within Dataverse, so we can we could connect this to a model-driven app if we wanted to. But for this instance, we're just going to create a view to see our information, or our columns that we created, and a form to insert the data. So we're going to click Views, and we're going to click our Active Bids view. So here we can. On the left hand side, we can select from default to custom and it will only show us the table or the columns that we created inside of that table, the custom columns. If I want to get rid of this created on column, I can click on it and click remove. So we're going to add the bid amount, the bid probability, and the bid type. Remember, the view is how you're going to view the data. So this is exactly what our view is going to look like. We're going to have our client name, our bid amount, the bid probability, and bid type. So we're going to click Save and Publish. And once this publishes, we can click the Back button to go back into Make.PowerApps. Perfect. All right, now we've created our view. Let's create our form to insert data. So we click on forms and we're going to use the main form. So click on the word information. And this brings us to our form designer. It's going to look a little bit different than our view. Notice that it already has our client name, our primary column in there. So you can drag to rearrange them in the order that you want. On the left hand side, there's an ABC, which is our table columns section. Once again, we're going to change the default from default to custom so we can see just the pieces, just the columns we created. So we want them to enter a bid amount. 
and we also want them to enter our bid probability. We don't want them to enter a bid type because that's going to be created by our business rule. Notice that the fields that are or the columns that are required is the client name. The bid amount and bid probability is not required. It does not have that asterisk next to it. But our business rule is going to say when someone enters a bid amount, make bid probability required. So let's click save. And publish. Click back. And now on the far right hand side, you're going to see the word data in the ribbon. We're going to click that and we're going to add a new record. This is going to bring us to the form we just created. Notice I have my client name. It's a required field. It has the asterisk. So let's just say John Doe. And the bid amount. So notice that still the bid probability is not required. There's no asterisk. But as soon as I enter information and click outside that box, the bid probability is going to change to required. So let's enter a high probability bid right now. So let's say $12,000. Notice that the asterisk now pops up for bid probability, requiring that I enter the probability that we win the contract. Let's say 85%. We're going to save this. And let's create one, one more record where the bid amount is below $10,000. So we're going to click new. And this is going to be Jane Doe. Her bid amount is going to be, let's say $8,000. So it's below 10. Notice it doesn't matter that it's above or below 10,000, as soon as I enter information into the bid amount, it creates the required bid probability field. Let's say this one is 72% probability. And we'll click save and close. This is gonna bring us back to our data view. And when we refresh our data at the very top, it's gonna to populate the view that we created earlier. So let's click refresh. Notice that now I have Jane and John Doe. I have their bid amounts. I have their bid probabilities. And notice that based on the bid amount, it, if it is less than 10,000, it was a low bid. If it's greater than 10,000, it's a high bid. I want to thank you guys for joining me today in creating these business rules. I hope it helps, and I'll see you next time.